Hello there, my name's Ayla Matcham. Uh, welcome to the Ertl Collection Updates. Um, if you watch my videos regularly, you'll see I've collected a number of different Ertl characters uh, in the Thomas the Tank Engine range. Uh, however, this one's more based upon um, sets that come in the range. I managed to pick a few sets. Uh, some of them we got from Tootley Thomas. Uh, Tootley Thomas is based in Rushden. Uh, also, over at Rushden is the uh, Rushden Transport Museum. Um, you may, may have seen that this year I did a show there. Um, also recently I went over to the Russian Transport Museum again and I went on a train driving experience and I drove a Class 31 uh, diesel locomotive. Brother Adam also drove for the class 31. On board when I'm leaving. And have some fun. Uh, remember the full video can be seen on my channel for the driving experience. Um, as I said, though, please enjoy the rest of this video. Uh, now, as you can see here, um, I've got quite a few um, of these uh, sets and uh, obviously accessories and that. Um, I talk. Um, a few at a time. Um, so we'll start off with these two first of all. Um, so here on the left is the uh, starter set and you probably can't tell because of the lighting but underneath the Thomas and Friends logo it does say starter set but it is written on very very faintly to the point that even I can't uh, see it that well. But sets there, starters there. Um, and when you buy the uh, these two particular ones um, don't have aren't sealed down all you have to do is take the uh, lid off and I was very surprised in this one because uh, not only do you get the um, eight pieces of track that you can see on the front of the box but inside was also um, Thomas um, and Annie and Clarabelle and earlier this year you may remember obviously I brought um, a few engines and a job lot and I actually got Annie and Clarabelle in this box um, and I also got them in the older style of packaging from the 1980s. Um, so that was quite a nice surprise. Uh, this Thomas that I got, um, I do actually have in this style of packaging. However, it was very, very sun faded. But as you can see, this one's not. Uh, this one's absolutely mint. Um, so anyway, I'm going to keep them in the box. And I do have quite a lot of Thomases, obviously, because Thomas um, has been uh, reproduced into many different things um, and if you look on the back of the box it says this one was made in 1999 um, and it even says on the side that it includes Thomas and that 
Um, and I didn't. I was actually very surprised when I opened it. I didn't read the box uh, properly. I think it's fair to say. But like I said, when I saw that Thomas and that were in there, completely brand new and sealed, um, I was very surprised. Uh, the next one I've got is Dry Ore Station, which is another station accessory set. Um, and on the front, you've got James and George. Uh, but James and George don't come in this uh, set. Um, but what you do get is you get all the station and all the um, like signals and traffic lights. As you can see here. Um, so that's all of the uh, station building and the signals there. And then just there, underneath, uh, all the stickers for like the windows and the doors and that. You have to put them on yourself. Um, you've probably seen from my like the first ever Ursul collection update video that I did that I do actually have this station already and I have like I have the Sodor Slate Quarry bit. The Sodor Slate Quarry bit I um used when I did my Ursul collection update video. The next two I've got here are the water tower accessory set and the crane accessory set. Um I have to admit when I was younger I I remember seeing this one in the shop. And I used to think that that was a recreation of the episode Buzz Buzz, because obviously James was pulling two coaches and next to Trevor, uh, like he is here. Um, so I'll give you a closer look at that one. Now, obviously on Sodor, there's obviously many water towers. Um, I've never actually seen one that looks at anything like that on Sodor. Door, um, but I do think it's a very good water tower. Um, and then on the back, it says also available uh, the crane accessory set, which, as you can see, I've got just there. Um, this one's completely sealed, and it even says on the side that what it contains so three pieces of the track and uh, the water tower. It doesn't include James and Trevor. And it says this one was made in 1997, making it about 19 years old. And again, you can tell it's Ertl because obviously it's got the uh, Ertl logo there. And it does even say there about the uh, contents um, from the Pac May Vary to the illustration. Um, but, and say so this one's completely sealed, uh, hasn't been opened at all. And the same with this one. Um, again, this one just comes with the crane and the track. Um, on Sodor, obviously, there's many different cranes. Um, I've never actually seen one that looks anything like that, but I think it still looks really good. And um, this one was also made uh, in 1997, as you can see just there. Like I said, this one's never been opened either. And uh, again, I remember, I never actually had these ones uh, when I was younger at all. Um, obviously, you've probably seen I've got lots of track and that, um, as I was saying earlier. Um, but yeah, I never had these ones. But when you may remember I did a video of um, Ursula adverts on my channel. And in those videos, you did actually see, um, in those adverts, you did actually see a lot of these sets uh, being advertised. Um, I can remember, obviously, when they were brand new and that, really, which is quite spooky, I think it's fair to say. Uh, so the next one I move on to is the Level Crossing set. Um, as you can see on the front, it's got Gordon and Terence the Tractor. Um, however, um, them two, again, aren't featured in the set, but everything else you get in the set. Uh, the um, Obviously, the signals and some more uh, traffic lights. And obviously the level crossing on the track. Um, now this one, you can probably tell, uh, judging by the colour, that it's slightly sun faded. However, again, it is sealed. And the problem is, obviously, when these were obviously around in the shops, a lot of people used to put them in the shop windows. And obviously, if you put things in the shop windows, they do get sun faded. But it's not sun faded on this side. And like I said, it shows you there uh, all the things that you can get in this set. Um, and if you look on the back... Um, it says also available the tunnel set. Uh, now I have actually got the tunnel set, 
Um, however, it's in a completely different style of packaging. Um, it also doesn't come with track. And then Gordon's fitted uh, on the front. Gordon's on the front. Uh, so here is the tunnel set. As, as you can tell, it's in the newer style of packaging. It's got uh, Thomas on the top there. Um, and this is sort of this was introduced around the time that the newer packaging for the Ertles was introduced with the animations on uh, that you've probably seen in my other videos. Um, and again, it says there uh, 2002. Uh, there's obviously the tunnel that you get. And it says there, this pack contains uh, one tunnel. Um, and then on the back, it shows the other things you can get. There's a road bridge in the top left-hand corner there. Um, however, I don't have that road bridge. Um, but I do have the water towers you saw, the crane, and also the windmill, which I'll move on to uh, next. So uh, here is the windmill. Um, and out of all the sets that I've actually brought, um, as you've seen in this video, this is actually probably my most favourite one. Uh, the reason being is probably because that uh, windmill there reminds me of the windmill that was obviously in the intro. And it was also seen uh, in many Series 1 episodes. Um, and as you can see, that's actually got a Thomas Nanny and Cloudball on it, like it does uh, in the TV series. It says here, it's branded as being made in 1999, you can leave us there. Um, and there again, it shows you what's actually included, and you can tell. You can see, there's a bit of cell tape just there, um, so it's never been opened. Um, but I'm, I'd say, I'm not actually having these ones to uh, play with. Again, the, like all my other Ertel engines, this one is staying in the box uh, as part of the collection. And obviously, now that I've got pretty much all the engines, I am sort of on the lookout for little bits like this. Um, and I do hope to get the quarry set actually in the box, uh, brand new, if I can. I'm not too fussed as whether it's this old style packaging or the new style of packaging as the tunnel's in that I just showed you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the sets that I've got for the time being. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, goodbye and thanks for watching.